uh, or a group of objects. Uh, I'll just turn off the second group here to we can. I'll explain how I got there. Uh, but this group is um, created using the draw inside. Uh, if we look at this uh, shape that I have selected here, the contour of this character, or if we call it that, we also see another problem with the draw inside, and that is that even if it has a profile, the profile is not supported by the draw inside feature. So changing the feature here is we see we're not seeing the stroke. If I would release the mask, objects clipping mask release here, we will see that the stroke is supported, but as soon as we take an object, we cut it out, and we use the draw inside feature here, draw inside and I'll paste in place, edit, paste in place, we see that the stroke is becomes uniform again. So this is this is part of the problem that I had. I'm just going to undo that again so I can get back to the original file. The second thing I wanted to show here that is a problem for me is that um, when I choose uh, to expand so that I can see the actual vectors if I'm going to cut this out of vinyl with a knife, then uh, the normal way I would clean up a logo Let's exit the draw inside mode. The way I would do this is I would use the expand. So if I use the expand appearance here, I would expect to be seeing the double uh, stroke, but I'm not seeing that. I'm seeing that I'm getting the clipping path here expanded. Let's try again. Objects expand, and it says expand fill and stroke, and we see some very strange results. Um, and this is due, of course, to uh, the draw inside clipping path uh, no longer existing and so I'm seeing both these shapes are being clipping paths and it's it's like confusing uh, Illustrator to know that this top one should not be a clipping path both of them become a group and they become clipping paths within each other so there's something strange happening here um, and I've seen this with students that have been trying to uh, get to make simpler artwork my workaround to be able to fix this, if I go back to where I was, it was to take the original object here to add it as an asset. So we see here we have it as an asset. Using the asset export panel, I use the PDF file. And from the preferences here, um, let's see, it was from this one here. And I will go into the preferences setting. And the PDF is set to Illustrator default here, so I know that I'm getting the exact uh, Illustrator file that I had. Then placing the file using the place command. Now, of course, the problem here is to place this asset in the correct place. I'm, I'm using the, an unlinked version of this. Actually, maybe I should just do that again. File place. And I'm doing that by... There we have the asset place, and I'm clicking here. So I'm, I'm getting the exact same size as I had on the other, on the original. But let's look at the difference now. When I do object expand, we see the fill and stroke is expanded, and, and now we can actually see that the shape is expanded into its basic components. I'll do an object expand again, and we can see here that we have. Uh, basically expanded so all the micro components are there and what I would normally do to clean up a logo if this would be a logo character or something that would have to be reused in other formats I would use the uh, merge command here in uh, Pathfinder and that would of course mean that I now have it as clean vectors with no extra um, shapes and it's like in its old building building blocks and I could use then the group selection tool here to move the different shapes. And you can see that we, we do have all the, the different shapes as separate shapes that can be uh, pulled apart. Uh, which I don't have on, on this one. This one doesn't have the shapes and I can't sort of stencil them out from each other to get the different building blocks. And this is, this is the problem that I'm facing. Um, so that was a short little video to explain a problem. Uh, and the workaround as well.